Hi, Stefan, the BMW DIY guy. I wanted to share my, my latest dyno results for my car. Now, some of you may be familiar with taking your car to the dyno and what that means. Some of you may not. So let's uh, actually talk about it for a sec before you see the results. So the dyno is a great place and a shop where you can take your car and they will put it up on rollers and you will get a chance to run your car all the way out to the red line as hard as it can possibly run in a safe, controlled environment. You're not doing something rash out on the track necessarily or even worse out on the street. The dyno is the best way to give yourself a safe environment where you can pull logs, you can check your performance, you can compare it against stock and all of those important things as you make improvements to your car. Now, stock versus add-ons. One thing you want to keep in mind is most of the time if you look up your car statistics and it says your car is X number of horsepower, generally they mean at the motor. It's going to be less actually where your rear wheels, assuming your rear wheel drive, where they hit the ground because you will lose power through all of the different components that go back to your rear tires. So they're never what they actually say what it is at the motor. In my car, for example, BMW pu publishes that it's my car, the N55 435, is 305 horsepower at the motor. Well, if you have an automatic transmission, you're gonna lose 20% of the rear wheels. If you, have a, if you have a manual transmission like I do, you're gonna lose about 15%. So it's not 305 at the rear wheels. So this is a great way of seeing what your car is actually putting down, especially you're making changes. Now, as you look at your upgrade path, there's a lot of things that you can do to your car and even some of the simple things you go out and you look at the manufacturer's information and they say, well, this is going to add 15 horsepower and 20 horsepower and 30 horsepower and all those sort of things. Yes, they will and they can, but it really depends on the components and how your car responds to them and how your car is tuned. And taking a car to the dyno and logging is super important because you're going to be able to track and see, you know, where those performance gains are. Are you actually getting what you, you, what you expect out of it? And where you can potentially make other improvements. Is your car heat soaking? In other words, that the motor's getting too hot and your performance is falling away, the, more, the warmer and warmer it gets. Things like that. It's an important guidepost so that you can tell how you tune and how you improve your car. My car was bone stock a year ago, and it's made a tremendous amount of differences I'll show in this. Now, the other thing that's really cool is the latest thing that I've, that I've added to this is that active uh, ECU flash tune. I was able to give the very specific information about my car, what bolt-ons I have, you know, an intercooler, charge pipe, custom exhaust, you know, from active as well, those sort of things. My local fuel, because your fuel really, really matters. And depending on where you are in the country, your fuel is going to be different. For example, if you're in California, it, uh, premium is generally 91 octane. If you're in the Washington area, like I am, it's 92. Around the rest of the country, it's 93. I guess we get to be jealous of those of you around the rest of the country. So unless you're going out and doing something where you're getting race gas from your local track or you have the advantage or the opportunity to get E85 from one of your local, one of your local pumps, which is really hard to find here in Washington, you have to be really sensitive to what your gas is. So a custom ECU flash like you can get from Active Auto Work is fantastic because they're going to tune exactly to your car. So, and even through this, you're going to see a progression of my car as well. This latest Dido run, I had the ECU flash. I ran it all. I bundled up all the results, of which was extensive logging. The Dino results, my, lo my logging from the OBD reader, pulling all of the information about the motor and bundled that off to active for their analysis so they can look at it so they can decide if they can you know tweak a little bit here tune a little bit there and continue to make improvements and i already have great information back from active so i want to show you the results i'll show you one run out of a total of three that i ran because there's really no point in watching it run three times so you'll see one run uh, with car on the dyno and then you'll see the net results so all in all this is an important thing so let's go take a look what, what take a look at what it'll look like to run your car on the dyno
All right, as you can see in those final results, I've really come a long way from what, what the car was when it was bone stock. Now you can see on those bone stock numbers, now your car may be slightly different. I mean, every car is going to be different. They're going to be assembled a little bit differently. You can get a little bit different results. So a great example is a stock 435 manual transmission on a really good day will generally put up about 285 at the most, which is, which is above what that basic math will show you with 302 losing 15%. So, but that's at best. So as you can see, the changes and, and add-ons that I've added to the car have had a significant amount of power at the rear wheels and a significant amount of torque. And I can really tell, let me tell you, the difference is really tremendous and it's not just subtle. You wonder if you've made actually a difference in what you've done. All in all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna round an average to, I'm about plus 60 on both. So plus 60 in horsepower, a little bit more than that in torque, but let's just call it plus 60 on both which is tremendous. I mean, that really is tremendous and really a statement to the quality of the products you can strap onto your car. When you look at the N55 motor, it has a tremendous amount of headroom and a tremendous amount of improvement you can make before you get truly exotic and start changing out the turbo and other things like that. So I'm expecting future results to be even better. And there's a couple more changes I'm going to make and I also will do dyno runs when I, when I get those done. And I'll show that, that progression and that improvement. But as you can see, even the progress this far in roughly a year, and actually it's been a little bit less, is 60 horsepower and 60 torque. And actually it's, it's more than that, which is really impressive and takes a car that's fast and quick to begin with and really adds some responsiveness, some sharpness to the pedal and a tremendous amount of, you know, press you back into the seat performance, which really is a lot of fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this and you feel a little more confident if this is something you're considering doing. Uh, if you liked what you've seen, please click subscribe. It makes a huge difference to me and my channel. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them and I'll see you on my next video.